For the sign of Cancer, hello and welcome to my channel. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Cancer, the recent past energy between you and your person, the Three of Swords, and it's with the Five of Cups. Now this Three of Swords... It's showing that there could be an element of, of sorrow, sadness, but what's on the other side of this sadness or sorrow can be enhanced understanding and joy. So you want to allow yourself to fully experience any sorrow or pain that comes up so that you can move past it. This card can also point to maybe a very deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can fully move on. Because if you deny any pain, that doesn't make it go away. So allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up now. But don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief. Or sorrow for long periods of time. However, you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough and others will not be able to do this for you. Now it's with the Five of Cups, which is a card that reminds us that where we put our focus has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So, you could find yourself asking, what are you going to choose to focus on? The implication is probably clear. For example, are you going to cry over spilled milk? Or are you going to focus on the milk that you still have and get on with things? What I'm trying to say is that when you get the Five of Cups, there's some disappointment. So you're going to have to watch where you put your focus. And make sure your focus is for the highest good, or for your highest good. So basically, recent past energy, three of swords, clarified by the five of cups. So, yeah, with this, um, this ugly three of swords here, it's not very pretty. You and your person, you could have severed ties or distanced yourself from your person or them from you. You could have felt rejected. The two of you could have started to shut each other out. There were relationship difficulties. So someone closed off or maybe the both, both of you closed off yourself from each other. There was heartbreak here. A lot of pain. So, it looks like you probably, because of so much disappointment, and because a lot of you had, had a lot of love for this person, but some type of heartbreak, it came, came in the connection, came to you. So you, it looks like you, you're trying to figure out if you can focus on the positive of the connection instead of just, just letting the negative drag you down. So, yeah, there's disappointment, there's heartbreak, relationship difficulties, you shutting yourself off from your person, someone's feeling rejected, yeah, so there's disappointment here, that's a recent past energy between you and your person, so you're trying to figure out how to focus on the positive, or should you focus on the positive, and not the negative, so that's a recent past energy, let's see what's coming up for the two of you, we got the moon card, and it's with the knight of swords, now, the moon card, you could feel psychic and intuitive more than usual. 
It's going to be important for you to trust your instincts and your impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it's going to be helpful for you to realize that when this card appears, it's possible that all is not what it seems, and if you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. So, it's about going with your gut instincts, and if you're waiting on an answer from someone, it probably will take longer than you would like for it to. So, you might have to try to stay patient. Now, it's with the Knight of Swords, which is actually a fairly upbeat, cheerful energy. The Knights can often mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. It points to your physical, emotional, and spiritual energy being at a peak. And if you're waiting on news from someone or something, you're likely to like what you hear. The Knight of Swords can point to a lot of activity. Travel, being out and about, getting things accomplished. So you're unlikely to feel like waiting for anything to come to you. And that's a good thing. The Knight of Swords usually goes after their heart's desire. So the present time coming up, like I said, this is for the second week of November. Well, we got the Moon card, and it's clarified by this Knight of Swords. So it looks like your person they come rushing in. They're planning to take action towards you. Um, they're trying to make things right. Yep, the Nine of Swords usually comes in to sweep you off your feet. Yeah, and this person will cut out anything just to just to get to you. That's why he has a huge sword in his hand. So yeah, so there's heartbreak, sadness, depression, disappointment, rejection, closing each other off. But your person, they want to make things right. The Knight of Swords come rushing in really fast, determined to take action. They will cut out whatever gets in their way just to get to you. So, your person wants to sweep you off your feet, make things right. But with the moon card here, it's showing that you, you might decide to hold back. You don't trust it. You feel like they could be wearing a mask, and they're being deceptive. And then you feel like they will not be saying how they truly feel. Yeah. Yeah. You're not trusting this person when they come back. You think you think it's all a bunch of lies, whatever they're going to tell you. So let's move on over. Let's see what the challenge is. we got the Emperor and the Empress. Wow, that's a true pair. Uh-oh, we got a true pair here. Emperor and Empress. I actually, I don't pay any attention to these cards after I shuffle and I, I place them down blindfoldedly. So I don't really know what they're going to say to me or I don't know who's paired with what until I turn on the camera and start reading. I didn't know there was a true pair here. Anyway, let's get to the challenge. The Emperor shows that domination over the mind. Over the heart is sometimes necessary, even though it's not wanted. In fact, it should be welcome, and that's what you need to think about when he appears. Because when hard choices have to be made, it's going to be important for you to maintain your concentration and your focus. The Emperor signals this, but he also signals that now is actually a time you'll find it easier to make hard choices. So enjoy the assertiveness and the confidence that the self-control and focus brings. Yeah, forge ahead. Do what you know is best, because if you can master yourself, then you should have very little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life can throw at you. And I know 
you're probably asking, so what does that mean? Well, it means the emperor is the type that they they only use their head. They don't use their heart. So it's easier to to make difficult choices. Usually, that's what they say when you're not using your your heart. <clears throat> You're not so emotional. You're not vulnerable. So that's a little bit about the emperor. This person could be a boss, a leader, very arrogant type. Yeah, so it's with the empress. Now the emperor, she's one who doesn't play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things. Her own idea of what is right. And what is wrong in any and all endeavors. Now this doesn't mean she'll always get her way. But she's a reminder not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. It's about coming abundance. But don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially. <clears throat> because there's many types of wealth and riches in life. And money is actually only one of them. But as the Empress, you can have it all. Okay, so the challenge, the Emperor, clarified by the Empress. Yeah, like I said, your person, they come rushing in, trying to sweep you off your feet. But you, f you feel like it's all a bunch of lies. You don't want to hear any of it. And it looks like because the emperor is here, you're going to go cold. Very, you're going to be very cold towards your person. Yeah. Because the empress is here, you realize that you probably start to think, why am I dealing with this? You're the empress, you could actually have it all. Yeah, because the Empress, when it talks about love and relationships, it's a very potent time for love. So you could have a lot of suitors. You could find that men and women alike, they're all of a sudden finding you far more attractive, both for friendship and romance. So, yeah, you know that you can have it all. For a lot of you cancers, you got a lot of a lot going on for yourself. So you you're gonna go silent and cold. You're not gonna open your heart when this person comes rushing in to make things right. Yeah, you're the empress. You don't really have to you don't really have to deal with this. Whatever happened, you really you realize that you <laughs> You could have it all. You have other people fighting for your attention. So you don't open up your door. You don't open up your heart to this person when they come rushing in. That's what it's showing. You're going to close yourself off. You don't want to hear it, whatever they have to say. You feel like it's a bunch of lies. So... That is a challenge. Let's see what the outcome is. Yeah, we got this judgment, and it's with the Two of Cups. Now, judgment can actually be a card about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and of course, judgments that are made too hastily. And if you know you're prone to doing such things, it's actually, it could be a sign to slow down, give things more thought, give people more chances. This could be a time of spiritual awakening. Now, it's with the Two of Cups, which often refers to romantic partnerships, but that's not its only connotation. It could speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. This is a card that says that things are likely to be going really well. You should be feeling more than usually loved, cared for, and content. So your outcome, cancer, judgment, clarified by this Two of Cups. 
So yeah, the outcome, like I said, you're done with forgiving. You're, you're passing judgment on this person. Yeah, you're being very judgmental, very judgmental. Like I said, uh, the judgment card, they don't know, the judgment card does not offer forgiveness. Yeah, they ju the, with judgment, you jump to conclusions. Your decisions are made really fast. And forgiveness is kind of like over and done with. But your person, they see you as the ideal partner. Yep, that's what you get with the Two of Cups. They find that you're a harmony. The two, they, they felt like the two of you were a union. And there was a deep connection that this person felt they had with you. Yeah, this person, person, they had a lot of love for you with the Two of Cups here. And they they found you really attractive. Yeah, they liked to look at you. They thought you were beautiful or handsome with this Emperor showing up. Yeah, but you're not forgiving. No, you probably feel like you forgave enough. So you just don't open up your heart. You're like the emperor now. Yep. You're only using your head from now on with this person. And like I said, you, you a lot of you have a lot going, going on for yourself. Because the empress can have it all. So you may not even deal with this person anymore. I don't know what happened, but the recent past energy shows a lot of heartbreak. But anyway, Cancer, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below for extended readings for this. I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Cancer, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there, it's going to pass. And we'll all get through this, so stay strong, take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Cancer reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, if you're not in a romantic relationship or there's no love interest, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, or a situation. You have to take the reading for however it resonates because these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Also, the roles can be switched. You could be them or they could be you. So, take it for however it resonates. So, Cancer, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. Also, thanks for all my new subscribers and my old subscribers. It re it's really been helping my channel to grow, so I appreciate it and I appreciate all of you. So, thank you so much. So, I hope that you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.